I just found this here, I don't know. Looks like a honeycomb, kind of. I don't know if you can pick that out. Something neat I, I kind of I found here I thought was neat. Kind of wonder where it came from over here. I don't know. I'm going to look around a little bit more. So, one of the things I want to show you today is this tree right here. This is a dead standing cottonwood. And the bark uh, usually will slip from the tree when it's dead. And you can just peel back large sections of this bark like this. We can use this for quite a few things. Uh, the first thing I would definitely do is strip away all this tinder in the inside of here. Justin would love this stuff. <laughs> but all this in here, we can use it for a tinder bundle. Nice and fuzzy. We can collect all that and then after we're done with that, then we can use this for a waterproofing type base uh, to make like shingles for a shelter or uh, something to kneel on or a base for your fire um, to keep the stuff off of the wet ground or for when you're doing maybe a bow drill fire or uh, things like that. So uh, just one of the many things out here I wanted to show you. I think here in a little bit I'll take you over and show you a cedar tree. But I mean just from this one piece of bark I've got a huge, I mean this isn't even all of it huge bundle of it and we can take this stuff and work it this right here uh, will accept a ferro rod just like it is it's nice and dry There you go. That's your inner cottonwood. So this tree right here is the eastern red cedar. Um, this is another good tree to get tinder from. And you can just take the back of your knife and just scrape it down the tree. Um, we can get nice fuzz off of this by just doing this. This makes a great tinder bundle. And tender bundles aren't usually just one item. You'll want to mix it with other debris. But just wanted to show you that. Maybe I'll get you a little closer up look here. So here's a little closer look. As you can see, the tender basically stays attached to the tree, so you're not really losing it or worrying about uh, pulling it around, dropping it on the ground. You may lose a little bit, that's why I put my hand behind it. But you can just go through, get a fairly good sized tinder bundle, and just peel the rest of it off the tree like so. I don't know if you can see the nice stringy you know, focus. Focus. Stringy debris here. And I'll show you how easily that takes a ferro rod also. Here you go, guys. Nope, oh, missed it. There you go. When it's dry like this, it just takes one spark. It smells so good, too. <laughs> there you go.